Welcome to Deep Dive History, where today we are exploring the eerie depths of the Bristol Channel, a place where history and mystery collide. Tusker Rock, around a mile out to sea from Wales, has become a ship graveyard. Dating back to the 15th century, Tusker Rock has claimed numerous ships. The treacherous combination of hidden shallows, fierce currents and unpredictable weather patterns has led to countless maritime disasters. The island is reported to have over 60 shipwrecks on it and in the surrounding waters. The first ship to have recorded evidence of colliding with the Tusker Rock is the Malini, a Portuguese iron-hulled sailing ship that met its fate in dramatic circumstances. Constructed in the late 19th century, the Malini was a significant vessel of its time, reflecting advancements in maritime technology and trade. The ship was primarily used for transporting cargo across the seas, contributing to the bustling international trade networks of the era. In 1986, it set sail, heading for Rio, with Welsh coal on board. During an unforeseen storm, it was forced by the waves to ground up upon Tusker Rock, with 20 crew members on board. The ship lay on Tusker Rock until 1979, when the military blew up for undisclosed reasons. The next ship to fall victim to this rock was SS Norman in 1913. Among the most notorious tragedies is the sinking of the SS Norman. Laden with cargo and passengers, the SS Norman embarked on what was supposed to be a routine voyage from Liverpool in England to New York City in USA. Little did those on board know that fate had other plans in store for them. It was a chilly evening on March 15, 1913, when the SS Norman set sail from Liverpool's bustling docks. The ship, a majestic steamship known for its reliability, was carrying a diverse mix of cargo, ranging from textiles to machinery, along with a number of significant passengers eager to start new lives in America. As the journey commenced, everything appeared to be proceeding perfectly smoothly, however the calm seas soon gave way to a turbulent weather. A powerful storm, unseen and unpredicted by the crew, began to brew in from the Atlantic. The wind howled and the waves surged, testing the limits of this sturdy vessel. Despite the crew's best efforts to navigate through the waves, the SS Norman met its untimely demise when it struck Tusker Rock during the violent storm, sending it to the ocean floor along with its crew of 18 souls. SS Lugano 1930 The SS Lugano, a Norwegian cargo ship, met the island on June 30th, 1930, when it ran aground on the Tusker Rock due to foggy conditions. The vessel, laden with cargo, was navigating through the treacherous waters when it struck a submerged part of the rock, causing significant damage. Efforts to refloat the ship have proved unsuccessful, and it ultimately sank. The most up-to-date historical record of Tusker Rock's victims is the SS Constellation, an American cargo ship. It encountered a series of unfortunate events that led to its sinking on September 9th, 1943, during World War II. The ship was part of the Allied system and was navigating through the dangerous waters of the British Channel. As the SS Constellation made its way through the channel, it encountered dense fog drastically reducing visibility and making navigation exceptionally challenging. Despite the crew's best efforts to navigate safely, the vessel struck Tusker's rock. The impact of the collision caused significant damage to the hull, leading to rapid flooding in several compartments, with the ship taking on water at an alarming rate. The crew immediately sprang into action, deploying lifeboats and sending out distress signals to nearby vessels. However, the rescue efforts were hindered by the adverse weather conditions in the remote location of the sinking, but neighbouring ships responded swiftly to aid in the evacuation of the crew. Despite their valuant efforts, the SS Constellation's sinking proved inevitable and within a short time, the vessel slipped beneath the waves, becoming another casualty of Tusker's Rock. Throughout the years, parts of these sunken shipwrecks have washed onto the rock that once destroyed them, leaving behind the scene that we see today. 
Tusker Rock has long been regarded as a maritime graveyard, with over 60 recorded shipwrecks in its vicinity. The isolation and treacherous conditions make rescue attempts nearly impossible, leaving ships and their crews at the mercy of the elements. It sounds like a creepy and eerie and historical place for shipwreck enthusiasts to visit. However, Tusker Rock is mostly accessible only by kayak, and you must be experienced to attempt the crossing. Whilst we remember these glorious ships and the ultimate fates that they all ran into, let's not forget the beloved family members, excited crew members, and people just wanting a better life for themselves that ultimately also went down with these ships. If you'd like to hear more about sunken history, subscribe to Deep Dive History and leave any video suggestions in the comments. Thanks for watching.